is a monastery, not too far from here, uh, but hidden amongst hills. And in this monastery lies the secret of life. Not so well hidden secret of life, because I'm going to speak it to you now. There's a hundred women here in that monastery and none other but than one man and that man is me and The truth is that the life, your life, is you. Now, there's a difference between knowing this cognitively, intellectually, feeling it, and then being it. Being the people in your life, being your life. is not limiting who you are to to the, the individual that bears your name. And then you see therefore if there's unrest in your life that it emanates from you, that it is you. And then finding the source of that unrest I'm always telling you what it is. It's you thinking what you want isn't right. When it actually is, it's okay to have what you really want, your, your deepest desire. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's who you are. And it's good, it's not bad. It's not. You've been told it's bad, whether advertently or not, and you believed it. And then that's what screws it up for you because you thinking what you want is bad makes you feel guilty about wanting it. And then how could you get it if you think, if you th hate yourself for wanting it? You see, and then that, that's what you've been told, you've been led to believe is what you want, is bad, it's, it's immoral. When it actually is what you deserve more than anything else that the world has created to, to have that for you, you see? To be that, in, and then so you're keeping that from yourself because you believe it's not what you should get. And then you, bring, you create some elaborate other stuff that you think you should be getting when, when that's not it. It's that false belief in your head embedded in there because of uh, words written by humans thousands of years ago in Holy Scriptures, making you believe that your deepest desires aren't kosher, that they're sins, when in actuality they're the expression of the love of the universe. And though even you may know that intellectually, but the fact that the, the, the setting you in, the, the culture, the whole world believes that, that also would make you punish yourself for wanting it. 
and and then that would create the crisis that you self create your life. Meeting, fulfilling your deepest sexual desires allows you to access the deepest source within you. So if you're not getting that, that's what blocks you from who you are. You understand that? You neglecting your deepest sexual needs, thinking that the wrong prevents you from accessing who you are, the core of who you are. And you allowing yourself to receive the gift of life. You giving yourself permission, you receiving that gift gracefully and making that the very core intention of your life would then remove from you all the obstacles to success in your life because you're no longer feeling guilty. You're no longer feeling like a sinner. And then that those words, guilt and sin, they're so prominent in, in the ancient texts. No wonder the world is sick. Because there's lies that, that you believe, you see, and the disguise as holy. Do you understand that? All the world, all the religions, people believe in that. That's what makes people sick. And so making that your intention to have your deeper sexual needs fulfilled regularly, sustainably, having in your house the, the, the woman of your dreams, the partner of your dreams, fulfilling your desire regularly, sustainably, uh, um, um, just very accessibly, you know, it's just there all the time. Making that your intention. And then you protest that and it's because of false belief you have. Making your intention to have that at, at the core. Have your core sexual desire be fulfilled. That has to be at the center of it. That Maslow's pyramid of needs. That must be at the very core of it. And you Knowing that you make that intention and then and then willing to accept that, putting aside all cultural restrictions on, on sex, which are false, then will, that will have you access your deepest parts of who you are, which is all that is, which is everyone in your life. And you would have not conflict in it anymore.